Back now on Try It Today. I'm excited about talking with this next gentleman. I've wanted to get him on the show for a long time, and uh, he's a very distinguished uh, researcher who has uh, been in our area for some time. And Jay Paul, our director, if we can uh, meet Dr. Anthony Atala, who is uh, chairman of the Department of Urology at Wake Forest University and director of the Institute for Regenerative Medicine. Having given all those titles, we're now out of time. Thank you for coming, Doctor. <laughs> it's great to be here. Good to see you. Likewise. Um, what is the science of regenerative medicine all about? It's actually an area that includes any type of technology that allows your body to help you heal better. That's uh, either using your, your own cells or creating tissues or creating organs, or even using just different materials that will enhance the healing in your body. What kind of materials? I mean, I'm. You know, we actually use materials that actually disintegrate once inside your body. So they're really? designed to, yeah, they're designed to actually bring the cells in to the tissue or actually create cells, allow the cells to bridge the gap, to heal, if That's you will. That's fascinating. Now, what, uh, ha has this uh, science already been used to help patients or are we just talking pie in the sky here in theory? We actually do have several technologies in patients, and you know this technology has been around for a while, uh, longer than some people uh, actually realize. But uh, the first uh, actual clinical application was skin, back in 1981. You mean from somebody that's been burned, or? Yeah, somebody who has had a burn, you take a very small piece of tissue uh, from the normal skin. Skin graft, now I've heard of that. Yeah, well actually, this is actually growing skin. Good gosh, that's very advanced. Yeah, so you take a small piece of tissue, you grow the cells, and then you use the cells to treat the patient. And uh, what other kind, we didn't rehearse this, but I mean, what other kinds of things has this been used for? I mean, in terms of what kind of cell, what kind of tissue? Uh, we've actually uh, also used it for cartilage cells. So cells, for example, that uh, may be uh, healing the knee area or injecting cells. That's great. So many people with knee injuries and uh, gosh, that's great. What does the future hold? What's the potential for this technology? Really, uh, a lot of technologies now that are getting to patients, such as the skin, the uh, cartilage, bladders that have been engineered for patients. The future really involves many other different tissue types, including heart cells, kidney cells, pancreatic cells for diabetes. So there are little, really a lot of indications this could uh, be helpful for. Now, uh, the reason that uh, Dr. Tala is here is the good folks at the uh, Piedmont Triad Research Park uh, suggested that uh, we get him here, and they didn't have to twist my arm because I've been wanting to talk with him and meet him for a long time. But when you do your research and your work at the park, um, what kinds of tissues and organs specifically? I know we've mentioned a few things already, but what are you honing in on at the park? We're actually at the Institute uh, at Wake Forest. Uh, we have uh, approximately 160 people working in many different areas. So we really have a lot of different tissues we're targeting. We're actually targeting about 22 different tissues and organs. So the list is quite extensive, actually. And what's the process for making these? Uh, you know, you can actually use the materials alone. So these are very specially assigned materials that you put in. Or you can use cells that you put into the patient or you can actually build tissues and organs, and that involves using the patient's own cells to create the tissue and put it right back into the body. Uh, our friend Nancy Johnson was telling me uh, off camera not long ago about this $85 million project, which sounded excited to, exciting to me, and it's to benefit wounded soldiers. What is that all about? That's right. The, that project is actually one that is being funded by the Department of Defense, and it has to do with actually creating tissues in the same manner but for our wounded, uh, our wounded warriors. What would be the application specifically? Uh, things such as uh, burns, again, because we don't have actually very good skin substitutes still. Uh, things such as craniofacial injuries for the face, uh, limb and digit injuries, and better wound healing. That's, just, that's fantastic. I really applaud the work you're doing. I want to get another plug in for the uh, Piedmont Triad Research Park. Their logo is on screen and uh, they're just doing fantastic work, uh, just bringing folks together in the name of science. We have just a few seconds left, and I'd be remiss if I didn't get to know something about you personally. Where were you born? I was actually born in South America, in Peru. South America? And grew up in Florida. It came to us when? Uh, I was actually a small boy, uh, and uh, ended up doing my grade school here, and uh, went on from there. Maybe you'll come back sometime. We'll find out what led you to science. Terrific. Thanks, Doc. Cool. We'll be right back after this.